What's up, Nation? Noah from No Nation Gaming here. We are back again with episode two of NBA 2K My League with the Philadelphia 76ers. Today, we are going to be kicking off the 29 game season away in the TD Garden in Boston versus the Boston Celtics, headed by Russell Westbrook. Of course, we did the fantasy draft. We're headed by Kawhi Leonard. They got Russell Westbrook. If you want to see how the fantasy draft played out, you can go check out the last episode. That was the first thing. That was the whole episode one was the fantasy draft. But now it's episode two, 76ers, Boston Celtics, game one of the season. Let's get to it. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Alrighty, so I kind of already set the stage, but I'm going to do it again. We are kicking off the NBA 2K20 Philadelphia 76ers My League away in the TD Garden in Boston against the Boston Celtics. If you did not see episode one, go check that out if you want to see how this Philadelphia 76ers team came together. There you see our starting lineups along with the Boston Celtics, John Wall, Kawhi Leonard, heading our Philadelphia 76ers team, Russell Westbrook, of course, the top guy over on the Boston Celtics. Like I said, if you want to see how the rosters came together, more specifically my 76ers roster, go check that out. That is the first episode um, of my league. That is the fantasy draft. You can go check that out. That will be linked in the description box below and at the end of this video. But nonetheless, game one of this season where you're doing a 29-game season, um, kind of keeping it short, but also not doing like a 14-game one because that's practically nothing. Figure 29 games is enough where we get a good chunk of games out of it, um, but we're not playing, you know, 82 straight plus playoffs and, you know, burning ourselves out. So I figure 29 is good, a uh, good way to start. And John Wall gets the first points on the board right there for the Philadelphia 76ers. But, yeah, 29 games, and then obviously, you know, if we make the playoffs, which I'm pretty confident we will, we have a solid Philadelphia 76ers team. Um, so I figure that would be a good amount of, uh, you know, content for this My League season. And then, you know, if this all goes well, and uh, depending on how fast we get it out, we'll do another one. If NBA 2K21 is coming out, God knows, you know, w obviously WWE 2K21 got canceled. That was also for other reasons, not just because of the world pandemic right now. But, you know, if NBA 2K21 still goes as promised, then we'll probably uh, maybe start one on there eventually. But obviously that's like in September. We're only in May right now. But like I said, it depends on how long it takes for me to get these, uh, you know, games out. But nonetheless... Four to nothing here to kick us off. Uh, Dwight Howard's got the ball. Dwight Howard, definitely one of the top Celtics pickups, I must say. Uh, of course, Russell Westbrook heading the team, looking good in the Celtic jersey, I must say. But nonetheless, Dwight Howard gets the board. Not able to stop from there. One thing I will say, you will definitely notice throughout this game that we lacked a little bit on defense. And it's not that we don't have the defensive uh, players. I just think that we need to strengthen up... Um, our awareness on defense is what I'm trying to say. Um, you're going to see, I think, the Boston Celtics honestly get a little uh, ahead of us when it comes to uh, just finding open lanes, uh, kind of like that, and just putting the moves on us and just getting open shots. Um, so, you know, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. The Sixers, you know, I'm confident in my team. Obviously, I'm playing all these games, so it's all up to me to utilize what I got. Um, but when it comes to everything else, I was very satisfied with how this game went. Especially with stuff like that. Nice little assist over to Nikolai Vucevic. Um, I believe that was his first points on the board so far. Slamming it down. Um, he had a great game. You'll see that throughout. Um, getting lots of rebounds like you just saw right there. And an open lane for Kawhi Leonard. He puts it in the net. Of course, Kawhi was our number one draft pick. Like I said, episode one of my league, the fantasy draft. We had, you know, the sixth pick in the first round. It was between Kawhi Leonard Kevin Durant and Steph Curry to head our Philadelphia 76ers team. Kawhi, the man right there, puts it in the net again. Was the guy we chose to head our Philadelphia 76ers team um, in the draft. But yeah, he's heading our team. Under that, we got John Wall, Andre Iguodala, Robert Covington we brought back to Philadelphia. And then, of course, Nikolai Vucevic is our uh, starting center. So a solid starting lineup, if you ask me, for the Philadelphia 76ers. Wanted to get, you know, somebody good at all positions before we start picking elsewhere and I see we've got some other talent out here Otto Porter, Kelly Ulnick out there right now putting the moves on Aaron Baines look at this nice mid-range shot and he nails it good shit there from Kelly Ulnick but yeah we got him we got Otto Porter out there Tim Hardaway Jr. Seth Curry 
Um, and Kawhi Leonard's still on the floor right now. That's our uh, five on the floor. And you see right there, open shot. Lost Seth Curry, um, who was on defense, completely got rid of him there, and he took advantage. Now Kawhi Leonard going to put the moves on in the paint. Turns around, puts it in with the layup, and is able to get the call. So we're sending the claw to the line for the first time in this season. I'm, You know what? I'm very excited that this game, that this first game of the season was away because you know, depending on how this game goes, it's going to make our home debut even sweeter. Our next game is against the Indiana Pacers, I believe, who I forget who exactly they have on the team. I know they have Zion, but they also have so, like another star player. Not sure. So uh, that's going to be interesting. That's the first home game. Kawhi sinks it at almost the buzzer to end the first quarter, though. Kawhi Leonard dropping the three to wrap up the first quarter. An absolutely beautiful shot from the claw right there as we check out some highlights from the first quarter. But that is the first quarter of the Philadelphia 76ers versus Boston Celtics game. More to come after this. And that's where we would put in some commercials. But we're not putting in commercials. We're getting right back to the gameplay here. As you can see, um, we're doing kind of a highlighted version of the games. This is what we're going to be doing for all the games. Instead of posting uh, the entire entirety of the games, I think this is a lot better. You guys kind of just get the uh, best highlights. And uh, also get a long version of it. I'm kind of cutting the game in half. You're not seeing a lot of defensive plays. And you're not seeing a lot of, you know, missed shots and just running back and forth. You're seeing the best plays, the best shots, the best highlights. Um, and of course, you know, when anybody goes to the free throw line, got to throw that in there if they make it. But that's how we're going to be doing these games and post commentary um, is what I'm going to be doing for all of them. Because when it comes to commentating and reacting live while I'm playing a video game, I certainly can tell myself and recognize that I am not the best at it. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I think I like this more. Um, play the game my own time, record it, edit it and then come back over like we're doing right now and do a commentary over it. So nonetheless, Kelly Ulenick now with the ball, sends it to Kawhi, nice hook, had defense on him, but is able to hook the shot in. Kawhi Leonard's racking up the points early on in the second quarter. Otto Porter off the pick and roll, it misses it, but Kawhi puts it back up. Kawhi gets the points again for the Sixers. 25-15, a 10 point lead for Philadelphia here. Boston gets a nice shot though, we're gonna get a timeout from the Sixers. They come right back, miss the three. Dwight Howard's right there though to grab the rebound and lay it back up. And that was, that was one of the open lanes and lack of defensive plays that we were talking about earlier. Robert Covington just letting his man go right there. Jabari Parker went right to the net. And Russell Westbrook right there gets the N1. John Wall fouling him on the layup. And Russ gets a three point play for the Celtics. The Celtics starting to go on a little run here. Once again, Jabari Parker Puts it in. And just like that, we had went from a 10-point lead to now behind by one. John Wall, however, or excuse me, not John Wall, Andre Iguodala gets to the paint, lays it up, and now goes to the line and is able to drain one to make it a three-point play. And the Sixers get the lead just like that once again. And another open shot from the Boston Celtics. The defense just getting lost on that play right there. Russell Westbrook able to get the shot over John Wall. Credit where it's due. That was a nice little layup there. Let's see if we can bounce back. John Wall brings it down. Goes right by the Celtics. Not afraid. Through the defense. Lays it up. Good shit by John Wall right there. Russell Westbrook though. Open three. Misses it. Dwight Howard gets the rebound. Nikolai had his hand in his face, but it wasn't enough. Dwight Howard able to get it. Kawhi Leonard to the paint. Gets the shot. And he's going to go for the end one as well as he gets fouled by Jabari Parker. And Kawhi swishes it for the three-point. 33-32. Back and forth here. Celtics went on a little run, but the Sixers catching up, staying in it. Inbounds the ball. Tim Hardaway gets it. Throws it right up. Misses the shot. But Vucevic gets it. He throws it up for the shot. Getting the points there. 35-34 with two point left in the second. Oh, my God. At the halftime buzzer, Ish Smith throws it up and gets a lucky Hail Mary shot. Absolutely ridiculous. Celtics take the lead going into the half. We'll see what we'll see what we got going into the second half, man. I'm confident. I'm confident.
Alright, and we are back here with the second half of this game. John Wall brings it down for the Philadelphia 76ers. Kawhi Leonard leading the Sixers right now with 19 points with 11 minutes played. John Wall puts it up, unable to get it, but Nikolai Vucevic right there. Beautiful to put the shot in. Celtics ball now. Kawhi on defense. Sixers need to tighten up the defense. That was definitely a struggle in the first half. Losing his man right there. Losing his man. Absolutely ridiculous. Cannot. That's one thing we definitely need to work on. We cannot have plays like that going down. And certainly cannot have stuff like that going down with an easy pass. And then and then fouling. You can't have that. Robert Covington fouls. Sending this Boston Celtics player to the line. Jabari Parker. Puts it in. Three-point play. Or no, that was a one-point play. Excuse me. Anyways, Sixers bring it down. We got Trey Burke out there. Bench player, nice role player, in my opinion. Really like Trey Burke. Happy to have him part of the Philadelphia 76ers. I can't talk. Kawhi Leonard, mid range, beautiful. Kawhi getting more points on the board. That is 21 points for Kawhi Leonard in 13 minutes. 82% field goal for Kawhi. Russell Westbrook's got Trey Burke on him. Passing the ball around. Nice play by the Celtics. That was easy basketball, I must say. Trey Burke brings it down for the Sixers. Passes it to Tim Hardaway. He calls for the pick. Robert Covington right there. Tim Hardaway shoots it. Gets the two. Tim Hardaway gets his first points on the board as a Philadelphia 76er. Now Trey Burke with the ball. Robert Covington to do the same. Puts it up for the two. Unable to get it. But Vucevic puts it back up. Solid two plays there from the Sixers. Getting some points on the board. 43-46. Two minutes left in the third quarter. Kelly Ulnick puts it up now. Into the lane. Nice play there. Nice defensive play. Scattering on defense. A little bit of a mad scramble. Vucevic, who is on fire right now, catches the rebound. And Otto Porter going to get his first points as the Philadelphia in a 76er. Throwing it up there, gonna go for it again. Passes it to Kelly Ulnick, and he puts it up into the bucket. Sixers take the lead, 49-46. Throws it up, misses the shot. Dwight Howard though, right there, unfortunately, to get the rebound. 19 seconds left in the third. We had a 49-48 game. Solid game right here for the Sixers. John Wall misses a lane, but creates a new one. Berkshire, perfect shot. John Wall scores for the Sixers. We got a steal, we got a steal, we got a steal. John Wall throws it up at the third. Unable to get the buzzer beater at the end of the third quarter, but still got the steal. John Wall, beautiful, beautiful steal to round out the third quarter. Sixers, Celtics, fourth quarter basketball. Coming up right now, 51-48. Sixers in the lead, baby. All right, here we go. Fourth quarter left to play. Goes for the steal. Tries going for almost got it again. Ish Smith gets rid of the ball. Rudy Gay now gets a lane. And is unfortunately able to put the ball in the basket. We got a neck and neck game here between these two teams tonight. This is the Sixers' first game of the season, like I mentioned. This is actually the Boston Celtics' third game. I believe they're 2 0 going into this. And unfortunately, Alec Burke hits the three-point shot. And John Wall tried putting the moves on him here. Tried hitting the three, but it didn't go nowhere. I mean, it went somewhere. It just didn't go in the net. Boston ball. And unfortunately, or no, I thought it went in. No, oh, oh. Mad scramble. Otto Porter brings it up. To John Wall is going to try to put the moves on him in the paint. Kelly Ulnick hits the jumper. Tie ball game. Beautiful mid-range shot by Kelly Ulnick. Follows it right up. Nope. Aaron Baines gets it though. Unable to stop that. Unable to stop that. John Wall brings up the ball. Beautiful shot, but he gets fouled by Russell Westbrook, and he is going to the line. No, no points on that shot, thanks to the foul. Look at this. Take another look. Whoop. 
Call it the foul there. Call it the foul there. John Wall's going to the line. He's going to shoot too. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Can we make one? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We're right in it. We're in it. Make another? Not today. Not today. Not today. Good effort, though. A lot of action going on in the paint right there, but Vucevic's able to battle through it. Get some points on board. Russ hits a three. Does not make it. Vucevic's right there getting another rebound. Kawhi finds a lane. The claw puts it in the net. Kawhi Leonard absolutely dominating in the in the paint. Not even just in the paint in this game. I believe that might be 23 points for Kawhi Leonard in this game so far. Vucevic absolutely just diving into Russell Westbrook there is what it is. Didn't mean to do that, but we sent him to the line anyway. 58-53. Superstar of Boston at the line. Scores one. So we have 321 left to play here. John Wall goes. Tries getting it on. Heavy defense that he does. Did not think that was going to go in, but John Wall with a lucky play. You got to say, lucky shot. Able to get it over the defense. Russ files it right back up for the Boston Celtics, however. John Wall trying to put the moves on Russ. Trying to put the moves on him. Pass. Pass to Iguodala. Iguodala gets the points on the board. Beautiful three. Swishing it in the net. Andre Iguodala. I don't think that was his first. He got the he was at the line earlier, but that wasn't that was his first shot, I think, as the Sixers. As a sixer once again, I should say. But he did go to the line earlier. I don't know, but he swished that three. Nonetheless. John Wall tries going, driving to the net again. That time also got fouled once again by Russell Westbrook. Russ just got his hands all over John Wall tonight. Wall sinks the shot. Wall sinks the shot. 64-60. Can he make the second? Can we make it a two-point play? Yep. Nope. Boston gets the board. Boston three, misses it, Baines gets it, misses it again, who's got it, I believe Kawhi got it there, Vucevic now brings it down, passes it to Robert Covington who finds the lane, passes it out to Iguodala, beautiful John Wall puts it in, Sixers on gaining some momentum here, a little bit of a roll, 66-60. Boston ball, they inbound it in. Got to stick to the defense there. Iguodala a little older, a little slower. Russ just had nobody on him. Can't, just can't have that happen. And Russ had nobody on him right there. Nonetheless, Jabari Parker fouls. We're sending Iguodala back to the line. He's got six points so far tonight. Throws it up. Not going to make it seven. Not going to make it seven. Another one. We do make it seven. Iguodala, seven points on the board. In this first game of the season, Russ once again, he's got the ball. He passes it to Jabari Parker, who passes it to Aaron Baines, who goes for the shot, and he unfortunately makes it. 67-64, one minute left to play in Boston for the Sixers. Kawhi with the ball, tries driving, defense stays on him. Kawhi goes for the shot, gets absolutely rejected. Oh, no. Got absolutely rejected there by Aaron Baines, I believe that was. And Robert Covington, a sloppy defensive play, reach and foul. Boston's going to inbound the ball. A reset here for Boston. The ball goes to Russell Westbrook. John Wall on him. Can't got to stay with the defense here. Gets the mid-ranger and he drains it with 37 seconds left. Sixers only leading by one now. Need an offensive play here to try to wrap this game up. The crowd is rallying behind Boston. Kawhi shoots the three. Clutch shot. Does not make it. Does not make it. Jabari Parker to Russell Westbrook who puts it in. 68-67. Boston takes the lead with 19 seconds to go. The Sixers need a big time play here. The Sixers need a big time play. Robert Covington. Inbounds to John Wall. Defense is on him. Iguodala tries driving. Does not work out. John Wall resets. Vucevic's going to drive. Defense is on him. Rocco to Iguodala. Shoots the three. Iguodala drains the three at nearly the buzzer. 
nearly the buzzer six seconds left in the game shot clock unplugged Andre Iguodala swooshes it John Wall steals oh no we have a we have a jump ball we have a jump ball with 3.4 seconds left that could actually benefit the Celtics here if they get this they could get a three-pointer they could win even if they get a two they tie we go to overtime we need a shot Russ makes the shot it's no good it is no good Andre Iguodala seals the fate of the Boston Celtics a beautiful three-point shot at nearly the buzzer Iguodala seals the game for the Celtics good night Boston Philadelphia picks up the win that man right there Kawhi Leonard 23 points a great game for the Philadelphia 76ers Alright, so I just want to wrap up this video real quick. Game one in the books. Philadelphia 76ers taking the W. Kawhi Leonard out here. Andre Iguodala out here hitting the clutch three. That's how we do it, man. Now we're heading home. I believe the Indiana Pacers are next on our list. Uh, I know they got Zion. Not sure who else they have on their team. I have to check, but it's going to be a good one. Game two, episode three coming soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to No Nation Gaming down below. Like it. Go check out fantasy, uh, the fantasy draft in the episode one. And that's going to do it like I said. And I'll see you guys in the next video. No Nation Gaming, I'm out. Peace.